makes me think, what did he say that was so bad that you had to go run and tell Morton? Because I know it's still like the nurse thing, because they still talking about the nurse thing. What did he say that could have been so foul that, you, you know, I didn't go tell my girl because he's talking reckless. He ain't talking reckless. She ain't giving him none. She ain't kissing him. She ain't hugging him. He buy, he doing all this stuff for her, and she ain't re reciprocating anything, any attention to him. He didn't lie. Mm -mm. He didn't lie. And who else better to know than people that's in the relationship, same relationship with him? Now, this is where Ben messed up. Your wife told you not to tell anybody or talk to Justin anymore. And if you wanted the relationship, guess what you should have did? Not talk to Justin. Can we throw this in? So, what Alexis said, what she confirmed on After Party, what Morgan said. They basically made a pact. You can't talk to anybody in this Married at First Sight bubble about your problems. You can talk to anybody outside the bubble. You cannot talk to the other couple. That's what that's the pact they made. I feel like to me that's dumb. Right. I was like, was it a pact or was it just like an unspoken agreement where like Yeah, I think no dumb. she based she said it like they they all said it like don't talk to anybody about our problems, which I think that's dumb because I can talk to somebody outside this bubble about relationships, but I can't talk to them about a married at first sight, blind marriage relationship. The only people that will understand that is somebody else that's in it with me. Or if I decided to talk to Katina and Olajuwon, or if I decide to, to talk to um, Brianna and Vincent, you know what I mean? Nobody else can relate to that except the people in this in this circle. And so um yeah. That's that's the problem. That's the problem. Everybody should have somebody they can vent to. I guess I have a I, I don't understand. She is crucifying this dude yes. for venting. You yes. are crucify and I'm gonna say this and I know we going there. Morgan should have never, ever, 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 ever been matched. Never. Never. She's unforgiving. She's mean. Mm -hmm. She's mean. She's Billy Bad A. She's somebody in the comments called her Connor. I, yeah, I was like, <laughs> she is. She's all that. That, and I felt so bad for him. It's control, it's controlling behavior. I felt so bad. I it, told you it's controlling behavior. Even on this, because because I know we're gonna go from Alexis and Justin to Ben and Morgan. After she was like, Alexis told me everything. Ben did right. So let me go talk to Alexis. What did you tell her? She got mad because he went to go and he didn't go chin check Alexis, but let me find out what you said. That's right. If my wife tell me that you told her something about me, I'm going to go to who said what was supposed to be said. Mm -hmm. She mad. Oh, you down there? That's the exact place. No, I came to ask her what she told you. Ben did right. He's supposed to ask. He's supposed to confront the situation. Like, what did you say? What did you do? Morgan is abusive. And, and, and I'm, I said this on our review. He did. If this was a guy who did this to a woman, look how bad we talked about Elijah one, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 so she really checked this dude, right? She checked she checked Ben like to the point where dude was foaming at the mouth. He was scared. And she was all up in his grill. He's just standing there like, what am I supposed to do? Alexis went to her knowing how the outcome would be. Alexis knew that she would go off the handle because she went off the handle the first time. Now, I don't know about y'all, but if I know my friend's going to go off the handle, I'm if I tell her, I'm not telling them anything. I'm not going to say because she's going to go off the handle. I'm going to invade this because now I'm involved. And I don't like doing that anyway because most times I'm thinking that might come back and bite me in the butt. It may come because in, in domestic relationships, it always people can turn and this, that, and other, and it come back and bite me in the ace. Her best thing to me, the best thing for Alexis to do is she should have said, she should have told Ben, bro, I heard the conversation that you had with Justin about Morgan. She could have pulled the two of them together and said, hey, y'all need to talk because the things that he, but she shouldn't have just went to one of them. No, and especially not Morgan. She but, should not have done but that. But here's the problem. Messy, yo. Messy. They all talk in groups anyway. You probably live, you know, they live on the spot and all live on the same floor. So it's not like people don't know your relationship. Dude looks sad every day. It's not like they don't know there's a problem. Not like they don't know there's an issue. 
So it's like you just don't want to say it. By God, you are on national television. So and you got cameras in your house. <laughs> this is my that's what I said. You have cameras in your house except for it your bedroom. Ain't got no secret. And there's no there's nothing a secret because if the show wants to show it, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna show it. There's cameras everywhere in your home. So what do you try to hide? She was still mad about the BSN. So Lisa, I'm off my soap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go stand on mine for a little while. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, um, like I said before, I think Ben is is an issue. After you found out that Justin could not be trusted, Justin is not the person that you confide in, right? You do need someone that is a confidant. You did need someone that you can vent to. So I, too, agree, Jackie. How are you upset that he's having a conversation? I'm more upset that he would have the conversation with Justin again, who is just trying to please his wife, who is just trying to use it as ammunition against anybody she can because she talks a lot, right? Um, I feel like she let's talk about let's talk about how she walked in that month, one month anniversary she walked in there like she was like the chorus was singing don't nobody bring me no bad news okay so if y'all don't know where that came from i'm sorry go watch the whiz but that's how she stomped up in there like the whole place like she put the you know like get back to work like that's how it felt to me like, <laughs> <laughs> y'all know that's how she looked. That's why y'all yeah. laughing because y'all know that that's what it looked like. And then for her to be disrespectful, Woo. rude, unwavering, for her to just drop them flowers on the ground instead of just graciously handle taking them. Like it was like you wanted to come in and you wanted to do whatever my tie, I don't know what it is she does, on him, right? It felt very much so an attack. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you were coming to say what you needed to say, which is the same thing you keep saying over and over again. And then you ask him a question. You want him to tell you the truth. Let me hear what you're saying, but you don't give him a word edgewise. I'm with each and every one of you that said she should not be here. She should not be here. She does not have the, the, the personality, the healing, the anything. When she talks about everything, She's unwavering, and this is what it is. She, I don't know which one of y'all said that, shouldn't probably be married to a man. One of y'all said that. I don't know which one of the people in the comments said that, but somebody had said that last week, I think it was, Jackie. Last week they had said. So I just feel like it's a, it's a, a pot of mess. Ben, I hope you've learned your lesson about having conversations with people that you don't know, that you you feel like, you know, because Justin is actually, while they're talking, is probably saying he understands, I can relate, things are a little rough, and you just have to work through, you know, trying to be, he's probably giving him the I understand with you, the camaraderie, the support that he thinks, you know, and then you have to think that Ben is 30 years old. Ben don't have no real, no real uh, relationship experience. So he thinking he's talking to somebody that knows something. Well, that's not Justin. Justin is not the one. I just, I don't know. I just feel like the way she came in there talking to him, she should have said, today is my last day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Today is my last day. Not, I'm going to come back only if you admit. Admit what? That I needed to express myself? That I needed to vent? That you aren't really a listener that you aren't really accepting of the changes changes that i made that you aren't really forgiving of the first thing and that i'm really trying hard to change and you don't see any of that or acknowledging that like who else am i supposed to vent to and i get um you guys got a pack but i don't know was that you that was you jackie that said i want to talk to somebody that understands what i'm going through because my friends and family already think i'm crazy for marrying a stranger at first sight without the 15 minute com uh, 15 minute conversation that an arranged marriage has that's the difference they do have a little conversation though their parents have already said you can have 10 goats and 15 you know bushels of i don't greens or something for my daughter um they've already had that conversation they look at each other and they already know i think he ugly but my mama said they don't get that i'm meeting you at the altar so i need to talk to somebody who who has the same experiences and not only that, I want to talk to somebody who's going through the same issue. And Justin, you seem to be the one that's going through the same issue that I am with my wife. And I was hoping that you could relate to me. But unfortunately, I can't. 
I can't trust you now. Like she can't trust me. I can't trust you. But unfortunately, Ben is so naive, he will continue to talk to Justin. <laughs> Hopefully he just, or maybe he'll just go into a cocoon and be like, never mind to everybody. I don't like anybody. I don't know. Um, but I think I, I think that she should have just walked away and said, bye. This Can I say this? Um, creative days. I can't remember. You said the same thing I did. Most of the time when somebody doesn't want to share, you know, it's because they're trying to maintain an image. And I think that's, I believe Morgan is trying to maintain an image because what Alexis said is she felt the need to tell Morgan what Ben said because that's not the that's not the person that she sees. Well, honey, let me tell you something. I promise you, your girlfriend's not always going to see the same person that your spouse going to see. They don't. They don't know the arguments or disagreements y'all have. You know, you be you might be wilding out on him. They not necessarily gonna see that because you have a more intimate relationship with your husband, your boyfriend, your fiance, whatever the case may be. So I, I really do think her thing is, you know, if 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 Ben shares with people, they'll see how much of a um in, in the words of Mama D. They'll see how much of a B I C T H I am, and in that order, <laughs> they'll see B I C T H. Um, I to Lisa to your point, and people in the comments are saying it too. Most people, when they go to like she went to Muay Thai, I'm assuming probably that day or the day before the the one month anniversary thing. To you know, you go in there to let off some steam. She went in there and got herself more hyped up because she came in there on a mission and poor Ben was oblivious. Yeah. He was like, I got you some flowers. She was like, thanks. <laughs> Toss them to the ground. I said, good God. Talisa, you right. She asked him question after question after question. He was like, I, 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 I. oh, you're not going to let me answer? Fine. She he wouldn't let she wouldn't let her answer. She didn't want to hear. She didn't want to hear what he had to say. She the she should not. You cannot go into any relationship, let alone married at first sight, so closed minded and so stuck. When if you're the type of person to get stuck on something and you're not gonna let it go, this married at first sight marriage might not be for you. Married at first sight ain't for you, but marriage period might not be for you. You better man than me because I wouldn't sit around that long. My husband made a point. You were he said it. Listen, if if the roles was reversed, if Ben had walked in there on Morgan and read her the riot act like that, we would have all turned our TVs upside down. We'd be protesting, married at first sight. Who why why can he talk? I and I'm a, Morgan should she should be ashamed of herself. That the, the way she, as my husband said, she undressed that man. I felt so bad because we already know that Ben is a people pleaser. He said he lived in a neighborhood where he's like the only Asian kid. Mm -hmm. And so to get along, to get along, he said, I became an overachiever. I became overly nice because I wanted to fit in. So he's a super nice guy. And he sat there and took it. He sat there and took it because that's his personality. And she broke, she broke that man. She broke that man. And then for her to say, I'm not leaving. I'm not giving up on it because I'm going to show up every day. I want you to see how much you hurt me. I want you. Oh, and vengeful and spiteful too. No, thank you. I'll pass. She's very vindictive. I'll pass. Very vindictive, very spiteful. Um, and again, what's funny is that when she gets to the experts, they're going to tell her that she's wrong. <laughs> and what are you? I can't and, wait. And what are you going to do when the experts tell you that your behavior is wrong? I and can't I, wait. I just want to see people just. I guess. I, I, I my thought was when if this was Elijah one and he had did this to Katina, mm. how much trouble we gave Elijah one last season the way he treated Katina. Yeah, it was. Not it should be the same. It. it should be the same smoke or much more smoke that Morgan is getting now. Morgan she should all the smoke for me. All the smoke. Yeah, she all, all of it. She all, all smoke. Of it. She all smoke for me. She doesn't get a pass. And I'm going to just give her all the smoke because she deserves all the smoke. 
let's be on for who she is because you don't do that to people. And for Ben to stand there and take it, my hat is off to him because I would have bounced out a long time ago. Production wouldn't even got me back. Y'all can keep your check and keep everything. Keep this woman away from me. I can't go into the same apartment. We can't go in the same spot. We can't do anything else. Uh, you know, Jay said something, you know, that she came out Stone Cold Walk. All she needed was the glass break music. And there was, I, I told my wife, she came out with that. She came out with that Ronda Rousey walk. When you ever watch MMA, when Ronda Rousey comes out to the ring and she just her mom and she's chilling. And then she had, she just had that mean look on her face. This is her walk. This is what we're doing. I'm getting ready to go fight. I got a dress on, but I'm getting ready to rumble, right? <laughs> she just, all she needed was Michael Buffer to say, let's get ready to rumble. And she was ready to go. She would heard a bell. And next thing you know, it would have been on and popping. That's the way she came. She, you know, people, she came in hyped up. She did because she had been in she had been in there mm -hmm. in that ring. She had been doing this and, and she man, I but I whoever she sparred with that day, I know she knocked them but out. But see production, <laughs> this is why I have a problem with production, right? Production made her come back because they wanted a good TV because production talked. She didn't deserve to be crying over there. Right. And she, you, uh -huh. and she, she, you know, she was out. I'm really a nice person. You know, you and Alyssa should get together, uh -oh, right? Uh oh, I'm really a nice person. <laughs> you know, so she had she's very toxic. Uh, she needs to go back with her old lover who was drunk and told him he loved her. Ben is not the guy for you. And for th that, that's the part. Too nice. That's the part that got me though. Was my wife said, um, the part where she said, "I'm gonna just be back every day and like you gonna keep poking the bear in his face every day. I'm just being here, living here because this, that, and the other." Okay, you need a place to live, huh? You just need some place. If you're homeless, just say that. <laughs> right. If you're, if you're homeless, just say that. You need a you need a place to stay, huh? Yep. There you go. You don't even want to go. You can't even go back to your apartment. I know. I got it. I understand. You just need somebody to be with. Yeah, we can't do it. I'm not living that. Because you talk about, we talked about walking on eggshells earlier. Can you imagine when he has to walk on in that house? The tension that's in that place. The cat already don't like him. So if the cat, so if if, if if anything else happens, no, I couldn't do that. If I'm Ben, I go home. I couldn't I, that, go home. You can't live in that situation. We got to sleep with one eye open, not knowing what she's going to do. And you know, one of them parts when she was, he was like, "Yes, I talked to Justin and Miguel," but she was like, "See, you talked to everybody." Well, I wanted to see how they felt about me being a people pleaser. I wanted right. to see. I was just like, "This, this lady is so full of herself. Mm -hmm. This lady thinks she's done so much work on herself." And she said, "What was it? Last two episodes, whatever episode yeah. it was." She needs to go back to the drawing board. But like y'all said, that exercise is supposed to help release relieve release the tension not get you geared up and i was when when jackie was doing her rocky moves i was like that's why glenn is in line because he knows i i respect boundaries and that's the problem she doesn't, she doesn't have boundaries they don't have boundaries they don't have boundaries they don't have they, she don't know boundaries they have no boundaries whatsoever and she doesn't know how this guy has been, he's bent over backwards, done everything for you. I really want to know what, because if they show next episode what he actually said, and it's not like catastrophic, it is like. I already know it's not. It is I, like. I, we already know, can, can, we already know it's not catastrophic. She is just, she's already here, and it just took her up a little bit more. It just yeah. took her up a little bit more. It's not. I want to say this real quick, because I thought she said she hit him too. But my husband and I went back to listen, and what she said was, "I think it hit him." Yeah, I think it hit him. Yeah, she said, "I think it hit him that he messed X, up. Y, Z, that yeah. he messed up." So she didn't hit him. I thought she did. Yeah, I had to go back and watch it. <laughs> I thought she did, but um, yeah, I, I just don't think, uh, I don't, I just don't believe what he said was catastrophic. I think it was some regular old venting about your spouse. And I don't know what to do. She acts like this. She acts like that. And I think Alexis embellished it. I think she made it bigger than it was. And and so Morgan just took it and ran with it. And I think she had the, I must, this, this is the only thing I'm going to give Morgan. She had the right premise coming to him and asking him, but she didn't even really ask him, what did, what did you say? She didn't give him space because that's what I would have did. If somebody had come and told me that Glenn said something about me, I'm going to go ask Glenn. What did you say? What did you say? Tell me what you said. Because she don't know Alexis that well to take her her word as go. Let she, me say that. She trusts Alexis more than she that's trusts good. Ben. <laughs> she, she don't want to trust Ben. And Ben is sweet. But my heart broke. My heart broke. Yeah. The way he treated that. He's so sweet. And he, he looked like a... 
you know how you get on like you i got one child like they real they real tender and soft and when you get on them they just be like it's like the world has ended that's how ben looks he looked like a parent got on him he was just like i just want to make you happy i just i just want to be kind <laughs> <laughs> it's a private joke. I'm sorry. I just want to be kind. And she just ripped him a new one. I just felt so bad. And when he went in that honeymoon suite and they had their basket in there, I was like, Ugh. you know, you know what, Tommy, you, you know, you brought a good question up, man. That's great. Cause I was, I was mad at Ben too, to about, can we move forward? No, we can't at this point. I'm not moving forward with you. I'm not moving forward. Well, I mean, maybe he want to move forward so he can turn the tables around and say, I don't like you, and it's a no other decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll get some guts. Uh, this, this marriage been right. This marriage been done from the honeymoon. Matter of fact, this marriage been done. You know what? COVID destroyed COVID. it. <laughs> I don't blame COVID. COVID. I don't blame COVID. COVID destroyed his marriage. Anybody that married a person who gets COVID, their marriage never lasts. <laughs> Zach, you know, Zach. they say COVID makes you foggy and all of that for a while, and you can't, he came right off of COVID, so maybe. 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 This, this marriage was doomed from COVID. It's a bad sign when your marriage got to get pushed back because you had COVID. That's a sign. That's an omen, right? It, this ain't gonna work out. This ain't gonna be good. You know, this this is like it's it's bad. But she talking about TV. That's one of the worst moments I've seen on Married at First Sight for her to really to get into him like that. And all I could think was she has the right one because most some guys would not have taken that. And the way that she was giving it, not to say a word edgewise, and he's very patient just to stand there and not say nothing. And when he tried to get a point, yeah. where I talked to I talked to I talked to Miguel. Well, you shouldn't have been talking to him. Now. Am I 28 or am I eight? No, he just remember he turned 30. 30. Am I 30? I'm, I'm 30 years old. You tell me who I can't and cannot talk to. My mom is a little Asian lady, and I know you got some Asian in you, but you ain't my mama. Yo. Yeah, it's a, it's a sad situation yeah. for the two of them. Tommy, I do agree. He never been in a situation like that. He ain't not a react. He was shocked. It was shell shocked. Oh, he was real shocked because. Because he came, he came. He said he hadn't talked to her in a few days. He didn't even know what her mindset would be. Me, myself, I would have been thinking she's sitting over there human. She, I'm, I'm telling you, she, she boosting herself up. That's what I would have been thinking. Yeah, she, and she ain't talked to me neither. Mm hmm. All them, them voices in her head is like, get them, sick them. <laughs> All them voices. Was, mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. He came with flowers. He set the new the, the old honeymoon suite up. He had everything laid out. Production laid flowers out. And yeah, I, I would have known. He didn't read the signs. He, he would have should have known when the flowers went down to the floor. No, he wasn't looking when she came around the corner. When she right. came, he been looking. He probably would have just said, "Forget it." You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm out. <laughs> All right, what the what the little what the little SpongeBob thing? I right, I'm gonna head out yeah. now. <laughs> like deuce, like deuces, I'm gone. All right, cool. production. Yeah, yeah. Um, take my mic off, please. Take my mic off. Take the mic off. Cause she did. She came like Sophia walking through that cornfield to talk to Miss Sealy. She did. And he was like Hoppo, couldn't get a word in there. What? And I guarantee you, she went home. Oh, oh, oh that oh, that the meal out there. We would have got a black guy. he have been talking about the meal and oh, Bessie. You know, in the field, but you know, it's rough. I don't know. They can't come back from this. This, this, this marriage is over. I felt like they were mismatched from the beginning. When I yeah. saw the two of them, I said they are. They have mismatched them purposefully. This is not going to work. Nah. I, if anybody think this marriage can work? Please explain to me how you think. Wow. This can how? If you think they can still work out, please explain to me. I would love to hear. How you think it will work out? Because this 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 can't work. This one is doomed. This one is worse than Paige and Chris. Yeah. 